What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be taking a look at Killing Floor 2, which is actually one of my favorite games. I've been a huge Killing Floor fan ever since the first game came out. I have like an inordinate amount of time played on Killing Floor 1 and recently I partner with Chrono.gg, which is a website where you can get games dirt nasty cheap every single day of the week. Every day of the week they basically feature a game and they sell it at a ridiculously reduced price. And right now, Killing Floor 2 is on there for $16, the deluxe edition where you get all kinds of goodies. And so anyways, today we're going to be taking a look at Killing Floor 2, which honestly it lined up perfectly. They're doing a sale here on Saturday. I've now partnered with them and I've got like a link and everything down below. I'm very, very careful about who I partner with, and I found that I liked their business plan. I like what they do. They make sure that you've got honest keys coming from honest sources at just super steep discounts for Steam. And actually, today, they've got Killing Floor 2. It lined up great because this is one of my favorite games anyways. And so, we're going to dive straight on in, and we're going to play a match, and we're going to try and get you interested in the game and see if it's something that you wanted to play for yourself. I've got a huge amount of hours played in the first Killing Floor, like a massive amount of time played. I don't know if they wiped my account recently or anything like that, but it's been a bit since I played this game last. I streamed it quite a bit when it came out, and after they get content patches, I've been diving in and playing every now and again. But we're going to play survival mode. I wanted to go with the length of the game will be a medium length game. That sounds fantastic. And other than that, we should be ready to go. So for those of you that don't really know what this game is all about, Essentially, I'm going to go to play solo offline real fast, and I'm going to give you a look before we dive into a real game so that you can figure out what the game is. But essentially, it's a team-based game with classes where you pick what you want to play, and everybody kind of has a job. It doesn't really matter what your job is on normal difficulties, but on higher difficulties, people need to be sure to be doing their job because that specialization is really one of the only things that's going to carry you through. So we're going to dive straight on into the single player interface real fast and we're just going to take a look at all the options that you can play with and all the things that you can dive into uh, so that you can decide on your preferred play style before you go online to play with other people. And so for right now, there's a number of classes that are in the game and some of these are new and have been added with Killing Floor 2 and did not exist in the previous game. In the first game you had the Berserker, which is a melee class that's meant to take damage and get in the way of enemies so that they can't get to squishier people. We've got the Commando, who is used for crowd control. He's a guy that uses a lot of assault rifles, he's focusing on headshots, and he's trying to kill off smaller enemies, because a lot of times his guns lack the damage to kill the bigger, heavier enemies. But that's okay, because you've got the Support. The Support is the class that's there to kill the bigger enemies. His main weapons do tons of damage, it's all shotguns, AA-12s, things of that nature, and while he is capable of clearing the field of smaller enemies, at the same time, he's also really, really good at killing bigger enemies as well just due to his sheer damage output but he pays for it a little bit by having less ammo and also he's pretty good at welding doors actually and so in this game you can weld doors open and close to keep the enemies from hitting you from certain directions that's also your prerogative that's what you should be working on the field medic a support class who heals your allies and makes sure that they don't die you've got ranged healing you've got point blank healing which tends to be a little bit stronger a lot of their weapons focus on being very fast and moving around the map quickly and getting to your allies so that you can heal them but don't worry they can also deal damage and kill things all of their guns have a secondary fire mode that heals but a main fire mode that deals damage the demolitionist is a lot like the support in that the demolitionist is going to be explosives bombs grenade launchers dynamite used for killing heavier enemies and making sure that you can clear the field the Firebug has a lot in common with the Commando. The Firebug uses things like flamethrowers in the first game. I don't know if they have it in this one, but in the first game, uh, you had like Uzis and MAC-10s and things like that that had incendiary rounds, basically setting stuff on fire and using damage over time to weaken the enemy so that heavier guys like the Support and the Demolitionist can get rid of them easier. Uh, the Gunslinger... It's a dual wielding class where you've got revolvers, like a cowboy. I don't really know what their role is, but in all honesty, it's one of the newer classes, and so I haven't played it a whole lot. There's the sharpshooter. The sharpshooter is a sniper. Sounds exactly what it sounds like. Very important job. The heaviest of the heavy enemies are taken care of by the sharpshooter, because they're the only one that can one-hit headshot some of the nastier enemies and allow the support and the demolitionist to save their ammo for other targets. The SWAT team. This is a new character that I haven't really played a whole lot. I've had a little bit of time in there, but honestly, I can't give you a great synopsis. Kind of a hybrid class. They deal damage, and they've got heavy armor. They don't take a lot of damage. Basically like a heavier range class. And then the survivalist, I know nothing about because I haven't played them at all. This is actually brand new. 
So let's go back. Let's find ourselves a match. We're going to dive straight on in and have a good time here in Killing Floor 2. All right. So here we are. We are in. I need to select my perks real fast. I'm going to be playing support since that's my best class. I've got a number of packages here that I've added. High capacity magazines. I've got damage increased. And I've got decreased shot spread on my shotguns because I find that to be kind of sexy. And then on top of that, you can also customize your character and make them look like whatever you want. A lot of these guys are like super iconic characters. People like DJ Scully were in the first game and they stood out. They got played a lot. My favorite character, however, oh, there's a robot now. What does the robot do? What? There's a robot? Damn. My favorite guy is Hayato Tanaka because he balls out. He played like He's like an actor that played so many Yakuza characters that he ended up just like exiting the world into delusion and thinking he actually is a Yakuza guy. But he looks dope. I don't really want the, the Horzine. Let's see. I'm going to go with there we go. I'm going to go with the white on black right there. Plus he's got a Rolex on and you know Splatty can't. I can't help it, dude. I can't help it. I really, really, really like having baller-ass jewelry on me. All right, we got some people lined up, so let's go ahead and ready up. Oh, he's actually actively in the game right now. He's doing his thing. Okay, well, we got to wait till his wave is over, but he's only got 18 enemies left. This character is also playing the support class, just like I do. A lot of people like the support class. I think it's the best class in the game. I think support is fantastic, and it's the one that I enjoyed in the first game. It's the one that I enjoyed in the second game. Although, in Killing Floor 1, I had every single class maxed out. That's right, I played the game that much where I had every class maxed out. I played a lot of Killing Floor. It was one of those games that once you get done too, this game has a lot of modding going on. You can get custom servers and things like that that have custom rules where they have like eight times as many enemies. Everybody moves twice as fast. There's RPG servers where you get XP for every kill and you can buy things from the store on the market. This game essentially has like endless content once you factor in like all the modded servers and everything else. All right, so here we are. I'm ready to go. What are we doing right now? I gotta go to the trader. Oh shit, the trader's over here. So the fr the structure of the game is essentially that you fight enemies. The more enemies you kill, the more money you get. And then once you get a whole bunch of money, you go to the trader, you buy new guns and gear. Right now we've got 450 dosh, which is the currency of the game. In the first game, there was all kinds of voiceovers about money and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure it's like the B key to throw money. Yeah, there we go. We can throw money to other players if we wanted to assist them. Uh, let's go ahead and check and see. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my shotgun real fast. And I'm not going to fill up my pistol, but I am going to buy as much armor as I can get. That guy's running over to grab that green crate right there, probably to get free grenades. That tends to be every crate gives you a free grenade, and free grenades can carry you a little bit. I'm going to get my light on here. I've always loved the lighting effects in this game. Uh, this tends to be the hole-up spot on this map, where you hang out right here and let the enemy come from that way and that way. Oh, are you trying to, like, give me ammo? Sure, why not? I'll take ammo. Sounds good. Uh, the support class also acts as a mobile reinforcement spot and so essentially they can come back and they can give you ammo if you interact with them I don't think I needed the ammo that badly but hey I appreciate it I'll take advantage of it it's only wave one so we should be good oh apparently we're closing off the door right now I'm just gonna follow my teammate and try to make sure that nothing too terrible happens stand your ground keep enemies out of the marked area oh really they've added map objectives now I had no idea so I have to keep enemies out of this area and we get a bonus if we can manage to do it Ooh, that's pretty badass. I like that. Okay, so we got enemies coming from this way. Let's go ahead and light them on up. That guy right there is called a husk. He's got himself a bladed arm, and he really, really, really does not like us. This is a game where headshots are very, very important. You absolutely want a headshot. I need to get back to... I need to get back to just hip-firing everything. If I remember right, hip-firing is very, very important in this game. Aiming down sights works for some weapons, but for most weapons, you want to focus on hip firing and just getting good at it. Get a couple of you guys down right there. Yeah, I can feel my muscle memory coming back now. Yeah, I don't have a dot on the screen or anything like that. Oh, we got a stalker right there. Go ahead and put a little bit of paint on these dudes. We've got 22 enemies left and coming around. Don't worry about the intensity level. The game will get more intense as we get further in. I'm going to need an opportunity to... Oh, we got them coming in right there, too. Well, that's a bummer. Let's go ahead and reload real fast. I will receive some free ammo from my dude over here. It looks like that perk actually triggers multiple times now. I thought that was like a one-time resupply per round back in the day, but it looks like you get a whole bunch more of it. Those guys have some kind of status effect on them. I honestly have no idea what that status effect was. Wow, they've added a whole bunch of stuff to this game since the last time I played. I haven't played in a good six months or so would be my guess. 
They've added all kinds of crazy stuff. It looks like some of the enemies have additive status effects and things like that on them. I think I can heal myself too, although I don't remember exactly how to do it. It's not the T key. That's definitely not it. Oh well. I'll figure it out later. Let's get to the trader and see if we can get ourselves a better gun that's not doo-doo butter here. Let's go ahead and we've got the pump action right there. We can afford the boomstick. There's an HZ-12 multi-action shotgun. There's also a combat shotgun. We've got ourselves a incendiary trench gun, which seems kind of cool. Pump action only, Dragon's Breath, not only deadly, but looks wonderful as well. Well, hell, let's play around with some of the new weapons then, because I want to know. Uh, Autofill whatever we've got here. That's fine by me. Hopefully I don't lose. Did he weld me in? Oh, man, he welded me in. Hold on. Why'd you, why'd you weld me in, bro? Why'd you weld me in? Oh, dirty. He did me dirty. He did me so dirty. So what's up with this... What's up with this gun right here? I need to know what's up with this trench gun. My other support guy's over here. I don't remember if I can jump over this or not. I cannot. Okay, well, let's focus on keeping ourselves safe for right now. It wants me to defend a location. I'm going to head off, and this guy probably thinks I'm a giant sloppy noob right now. I promise I've played the game a ton. I just I don't pay attention to what I'm doing right now. I think that he's getting rid of stuff right there. That slow-mo that you just saw, that's actually an important part of the game. That's the commando special ability, so everybody gets time that slows down to allow you to aim a little bit better. But the commando can actually extend that, so you get a whole bunch of... Oh, we got ourselves a... Okay, we got ourselves a... I forget the name of that mob. It's been too long since I played last. Yeah, incendiary shotgun, son. How you feel about that? This guy is immune to fire, though. I know that for a factoid. I'm going to see if I can get rid of him real fast. Got a little bit of XP on that side. Ooh, there's a bunch of enemies over here. You all right, buddy? I'm thinking you must be. You hanging in there? I think he's good. All right, so this guy over here is trying to take over our control point. I do like the addition of control points. It kind of forces the players to play in a way that may be suboptimal simply due to the fact that, like, you got to protect the thing in order to get bonus money. And honestly, having a lot of money earlier in the rounds in this game tends to be a good idea. It's kind of like CSGO in that you want to be careful about how you prioritize your... Oh, that's a whole bunch of stalkers. That's bad. Let's keep firing over on this side. We've got a siren over here. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, this is a firebug weapon. Interesting. Okay. Cool. I thought, see, I look like a giant noob right now. I saw a new gun and I was like, but I want to play with that though. I saw a new gun and I wanted it. I can't help it. I'm a fan of new shiny things. Yeah, put a little bit of pain on them. How do we do over here? Uh, yeah. My A game is definitely not on right now. I got, apparently, I need to play more Killing Floor. It's been too long. I thought my skills wouldn't decay, but I was wrong. My skills have definitely decayed. All right, let's bounce over to here. And I think that we've got a trader on this side. We've got 777 dosh right now. I am going to sell the incendiary trench gun because it doesn't matter anymore and I don't want it. We can save for one more round and we can get ourselves, what is this? Fire mode is a dual action, semi-pump action is an experimental prototype that's been tested. Zeds were harmed were during the development of this weapon. Yeah, that makes sense. It seems like the kind of thing that would harm the enemy. Let's get a new shotgun. I've never played around with this shotgun before and I want to see what it does. I want to see how it... Oh, cool. It's just like a rapid fire shotgun. I don't know how it like distinguishes itself from all the other pumps in this game, but hey. Is there a place we're supposed to be for like this defensive shit? What's going on with this dude right here? He's looking at me closely. I'm being inspected. Last chance. I have to power down the pod. Uh, I suppose we could just hold up right here. It's not really that big of a deal to me. We can hang out wherever. I'll just follow this guy around. Hopefully things will be okay. Are we going in or are we going out? I think we're going out. All right, whatever, man. Oh, we've got a defensive point that we've got to hold. Okay. Let's go make sure that we stay on the objective. Oh, it's inside. Oh, this is going to be fun to deal with. Okay. Well, I'll hold this gate down, I guess. Ooh, this shotgun's got a little bit of oomph to it. So can I fire a little bit faster? Is this thing mag-fed? I can't really tell. I don't know if I'm supposed to be aiming with this gun or if this is more of a, like, just put rounds down field gun. Hey, get out of here. 
get his head off real fast so that he's no longer an issue. Cool. With those guys, you don't want to shoot the body. If you shoot the body, they explode. Unfortunately, facing off against them inside of a hallway is a little bit of a problem. Their explosion puts acid on everybody around, and it makes it so your armor melts off. And armor is kind of important in this game. You kind of want to have that. I'm going to put a little bit of... Oh, no. Well, he's down. Never mind. That's one of the bigger, tankier enemies. But we're on lower difficulty right now, so he actually wasn't as bad as I... Oh, these guys can actually spawn straight into there. Okay. All right. Ow! Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. Why are you guys being bullies right now? Don't you know you're not allowed to do that anymore? You're just supposed to let me win. That's how modern games work. You're not supposed to put up a fight. You're supposed to just let me win. Let's see if I can help out over there. Got a little bit more damage on this side. Kill those dudes off. We made like 50 bucks off that. Man, imagine a world where we could just go out and hunt monsters and get paid. What a world to live in. That'd be the stuff right there. Cool. Last enemy's taken down. I like this gun. This gun isn't bad. This gun's kind of a nice little holdover from... Oh, yeah. So you have weight in this game. I forgot about that. We got to talk about weight. So weight in this game... Essentially, you can only carry a limited amount of gear. Now, some classes like the support can carry more, and the deficit in between what you're carrying and what you're capable of carrying, so what you have on you in your max, determines how fast you move in-game. So being quicker is usually better. Let's see here. We've got... We can, can I sell that pump action? I'm just trying to get a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. We'll buy a new gun after this round. In fact, we'll go straight into the AA-12, because the AA-12 is a shotgun that is just downright sexual. And I enjoy it, so we'll go pick that up as fast as possible. Easily one of my favorite guns in the game. Any game that allows me to have an AA-12, well, that's a game that I fully support. That's a game that I'm into. That's a game that's okay by me. Ah, Q heals me. Well, there you go. I figured out the key that does it again. You can also actually manually equip a medical syringe if you wanted to heal one of your teammates or whatever. But it's up to you. Some people like to heal a lot. You can still level up other classes' perks by doing what those classes do. Uh, while you're running around, and so you're by no means locked to a class. You don't need to play Medic to level up Medic. It just goes faster if you play Medic while you're doing it, because their perks allow you to just heal faster. And so keep that in mind as well. Apparently we're welding that door shut. I suppose I'll... Oh, man, I got hit by a stalker right there. It's okay. People do like to stalk me. It happens. I work on the internet. It's par for the course. It's going to happen either way, whether you like it or not. We got nobody coming from that way. We do have a couple of dudes coming that way, though. Knock them off their little shelf up there. This thing's got 24 rounds on it. Pretty soon, somebody's going to start trying to bang through that. How did we weld a wooden door? I'm kind of confused by the prospect of that. Yeah, let me grab some ammo right there, too. That's also a nice way for you to feed a little bit of XP to your teammates. And so, like, you should just grab ammo whenever you can. It helps them out. It helps you out. Everybody's happy at the end of the day when you do that. So it looks like if I time it right, when I tap the key, I can fire faster. Oh, no, it double taps. Okay, cool. Well, I suppose that's rule number two or whatever. It's been a while since I've seen... Uh, it's been a while since I've seen Zombieland. Don't judge me. So this will give you, like... It's kind of like an upgraded double barrel shotgun. The double barrel shotgun has more pellets, though, from what I'm seeing on screen right now. Let's go ahead and fish them out on that side. Couple of enemies right there. I need to fish his head off, though. There we go. Got him. Go ahead and put a little bit of. Oh, we got a scrake up there. That's unfortunate. This is really gonna hurt. But nope, he's down. Never. Oh, we got a flesh bound. So this is the biggest, baddest enemy in the game aside from the boss. Uh, in general, you kind of want to whittle on him, or you want to burst damage him down before he becomes an issue. Luckily, our teammate has the double barrel shotgun, which is like the killer. Is that everybody? Or we still got more out here? I think we're good on that side. Oh, never mind. I reload at the wrong moment. Give me the flashlight. We've got ourselves a creeper right there that's trying to take us out. I don't see anything else outside, so I think we're clear right there. Five enemies hiding around somewhere. Where are they at? Oh, never mind. There they are. They always find you. It's the nature of the game. Yeah, if there's like one or two enemies left and they just aren't pathfinding properly, the game will actually auto end the round. I thought I saw movement up there. Did I see movement up there? I don't know that I did. We also talk about the super kick-ass soundtrack to this game. Like, this game has some pretty dope music in it, in case you were one the Happy Pill. Happy Pills are nice every now and again, but you got to take it easy, man. You can't use them as a crutch. Where am I trying to go right now? What are you trying to do? Oh, yeah, we got to go up to the top. 
We got 2100 Dosh right now, which means we can upgrade to some of the good goodies. Some of those crazy goodies. Let's go ahead and find somebody over here. Where's that pot at? Is that it? Dude, this pot is hella deep. I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to get my gear done, so I'm going to have to click fast. Jump on over to here. Hopefully our next defense zone is nearby. I'm going to grab that ammo real quick because why not? Our pod's on this side. we got 30 seconds left to play with. Let's go ahead and we will equip it the trader. We will grab ourselves. I'm going to grab an AA-12. Splatty Deuce. He, he loves himself. He really, really loves himself an AA-12. Like, do you need healing? I'm going to hear you. Never mind. Apparently a warrior will always seek battle. Greetings, large marble horse. How are you doing right now? Oh, yeah, the Eiffel Tower. It appears to not be doing so well. Take that, landmarks, I guess. Batcat. Na 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 na. By Andrew Ladenberger. Never heard of Andrew Ladenberger, but I hope that the phenomenal Batcat will see a lot of eyes and it'll end up much, much more than just a poorly. Oh, we got enemies over here. These guys are about to get it. And so, welcome to the dopest gun in the game, the AA-12. If you don't like the AA-12, I don't know how to help you because this is basically the coolest gun in human existence. It's one of my favorite guns. If you've never seen an AA-12 in real life, you need to go right now and look that shit up on the internet. You need to look it up right this second because it's the coolest gun ever made. Just watch somebody saw a tree in half with an AA-12. We got a Scrake over here. I'm going to go ahead and lay him on out. Hopefully I've got the ammo right now. If we were in a full game, it would actually add more enemies to the mobs that are coming on in. The game gets a lot more chaotic. Since we only have two people in this game right now, we're actually semi-safe at the moment. I should have more than enough ammo to just, like, span tap my way to victory. Go ahead and heal myself up real fast with the syringe. Where's my dude at over here? He's on that side. Yo, you got ammo? Let me get some ammo. Yeah, there's what I'm talking about. That's that good stuff right there. Uh, we've got a siren right there. We've got a flesh pound on that side. We'll go ahead and light him up real fast. I think... Where's the enemy at? Where are they at? Old skills are coming back, man. They're starting to feel fresh. Alright, he's putting baps on over there. Ooh, three with one. Three headshots with one shotgun shell. They will fear the pellet. The pellet is too mighty. Ow! Get off me! Get off me, lady! I have a wife! I'm not able to do stuff like this. I've got to kill 30 crawlers, so apparently there's sub-objectives as well. They've also added in, like, shops and cosmetics and all that kind of stuff. Don't know how into that a lot of people are, but, you know, whatever. It's the state of modern gameplay, I suppose. We'll go ahead and saw into these enemies on this side. Yeah, you guys need to get up out of here. This is a no-crawler zone. I know that sounds ignorant, but honestly, you guys mess up the carpets everywhere you go, and I just, I can't afford recarpeting right now. It's not really what I'm going for. Got another enemy down there. Sorry, pal. Not your day. You should have brought more friends with you. Ooh, killing these poor little shits before they can even spawn in. Poor little guys. Oh, we've got, like, radioactive enemies? What happens when the radioactive enemies, I wonder if they just do bonus damage or something when they hit you. I don't know. Let's go find ourselves this pod. We're almost at the boss. The boss is, like, not too bad at this difficulty. We should be perfectly fine. But on some difficulties, the boss can be a very real concern and something that you should absolutely treat with respect. I don't know if they've added any new boss models to the game since the last time I played, but the game's been patching pretty consistently since I stopped playing, like, a, six months ago. And so my th assumption is that, like, yeah, there's probably all kinds of goodies. I'm going to sell that gun right there. And instead of that, we can actually look at other classes' guns, too, just in case you wanted to get bombs or anything like that. Just be aware that without perks, your guns tend to be worse. Uh, the standard loadout for a support is a double barrel boomstick and an AA-12. Use the double barrel boomstick for clearing, like, big hordes and mobs and basically as, like, your holdout weapon. And then when you start to get really, really into the shit and you start to get overwhelmed, that's when you start playing around with the AA-12 just to start, like, clearing enemies out and doing your thing. All right. AA-12 is locked and loaded. Uh, on this side, I guess I can fix the door. Like, I don't know if we want to hold this or not, but we can go ahead and give it a go. Uh, I gotta help out with this weld right here. I get a bunch of XP for doing it. If he wants to hold this spot, we can hold this spot. I don't hate it. Oh, we've got another defensive spot. Never mind. We get a bigger payout for that, too. Let's go for it. 
Let's get in here. Are they behind me? I can't tell where the enemy's at. Oh, there's some. That'll work. Try to fire off a round or two right there and kind of hold the enemy off. What are we supposed to be holding? I honestly don't know what we're supposed to be holding right now. Oh, we're supposed to be holding this upstairs area. Okay, cool. So we should have enemies coming from two sides right here. Yup. Oh, flesh pound. Two flesh pounds. So that'll be fun to deal with. He's down. I gotta back up for just a minute. I got puked on too. That was probably a mistake. I feel kind of guilty about it. Like, I do feel bad for this dude, but, like, that's the way it goes sometimes. Stop moving. Ugh, I can't see where his ass right now. God, they got us beat back. Wipe out some of these supplementary enemies that are coming in down here. There we go. Breaks down. Uh, yeah, just keep shooting. I'm sure things will turn out okay. Like, what could possibly go wrong in a genetically engineered zombie nightmare? I see you. You ain't fooling nobody. Okay, she fooled me a little bit. I got a little bit bamboozled. I didn't get, like, crazy bamboozled, but I got a little bit bamboozled. We all cleared out on that side. We got six enemies right now. Oof. Man, why can't you just leave me with my armor and my happiness? Why you gotta be cruel like that? Let me get some ammo, bro, amigo. Oof. So we got bonus dosh right there. And it looks like we've got perma cash right now, too. Oh, you also get extra XP for holding the objectives. Nice. Okay, so it looks like one of the big complaints people had about this game is that progression was very, very slow, and it seems like that's the way that they've worked around it, where if you play the objective and you play the points, uh, you get, like, that's the equivalent of, like, 20 or 30 kills, and, I mean, throughout the course of the game, we've killed 200 people, so each round you're getting an extra 20 kills worth of XP. That's not bad. It's nothing to hate on. Oh, man, I don't know if I'm going to make it to the trader on this one. This one might cut a little bit close. This trader's deep over here. God. Oh, look. There's a free gun over here. I will take you free Winchester. Why not? That weapon is too heavy. Try selling a weapon. Oh, okay. I suppose that makes sense. Let me get a flashlight real quick. We got 20 seconds left to play with. Let's auto-fill on up. Make sure we got everything. Oh, yeah. I took the double barrel boomstick. I forgot about that. So the double barrel boomstick's pretty cool. Uh, you can basically you can fire it. If you middle click it, I think it fires both barrels. At the same time, doing a whole bunch of damage and basically killing everything that's in a straight cone. It's a pretty solid gun. It's definitely top tier. Like, I would say that the double barrel is absolutely useful in endgame play. Oh, we're on the boss right now. Never mind. I thought we were... Okay. Stop being mean, son. Stop being mean. It's probably best to stay moving. Oh, we got him over there. I'm going to put something on him real quick. Nope. Ain't doing that. Ain't doing that. I need to stay away from this dude if I can. Oh, yeah, he throws down gas grenades. I forgot about that. Oof. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get some. Yo, we blasted him down the hallway. That dude had a terrible day. AA-12, why are you so good at your job? Why are you so good at what you do, AA-12? I am getting a little whooped on right now. I'm not trying to play around with further explosives, but... Yo, if this dude wants to play, he can get some. I don't care about him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Apparently, I got a demolitious. How did I get a demolitionist level up? That's odd. 
Yay, third person mode. Now we get to make it rain. Money, money everywhere. This is the after game ritual that you always do in this game. You throw money everywhere at the end of the game. It's just, that's the way that it goes. Nice. Well, this has been Killing Floor 2, brought to you by Chrono.gg, with whom I am now a partner. If you don't know what they do or you didn't catch it at the beginning of the video, they give away a different game key every single day at a ridiculously low price. They are Steam keys, they come from reputable sources, and, you know, that's not a lot to ask for on the internet nowadays, but honestly, there's a lot of shady keys that float around out there from a lot of dubious sources. And so anyways... I'm pleased to have partnered with them. I'm looking forward to, you know, being a part of what they do. And so expect to see more videos in the future. If you purchase the game, Killing Floor 2, down below in the description, using the link that I'll have for you right there, it supports the channel, and you can get yourself a substantial mark off on this game's Deluxe Edition, which gives you all kinds of goodies and gets you started off right, just in case you wanted to put some serious time into the title. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in, and hi-do, everybody.